gusting with it every now and again. That is the story, unfortunately, of the rest of the week. You wouldn't think so today if you're washing in Birmingham, for example. But if you look at the pressure chart, the ice bars are tight, the lines go all the way back to the Gulf Stream, so the air is being brought to us increasingly quickly, and it's been drawn over warm water. So you can expect strong winds and with all that moisture, cloud and rain as well. In fact, we're being brought different types of air. Sometimes we'll enjoy the warmth from the tropics, sometimes it'll be typical March, and occasionally for some it'll be very cold stuff from the Arctic. Most of the time we won't see that, unless you're in Shetland, of course. But the winds themselves are the story. This is a five-day forecast, and you can see the first burst was definitely there. By the weekend, it's become lighter, but at first, it's a very strong wind. In fact, it's tonight and tomorrow we're most worried about. For the north of the UK, so it's mostly Scotland, maybe northern England, the north of Wales, and Northern Ireland. But the gusts could be up to 70 miles an hour. And the lee of the Pennines, for example, also around the Highlands. And as for the rain, well, 80 millimetres is the best part of three inches, when in fact it's a bit more than three inches. It's already falling in Scotland, and that's the concentration. Again, this is a forecast derived from the Met Office computer model. This is 36 hours' worth of rain forecast. Where it's yellow, it's pretty heavy, and it's sitting there all the time. Whatever else it does, and it certainly spreads across the whole of the UK tonight and tomorrow, the concentration is in Western Scotland, typically from Argyll northwards, actually where it is now. And you can see from the radar display, that's about the only place where there's any rain uh, at the moment, and the only place there will be any substantial rain until probably well after dark. South of that, we've seen some good sunshine. It's around at the moment. It should last for most of the afternoon. And the last few vestiges of showery rain ought to disappear from most of southern England this afternoon. At the same time, then, the wind and rain start to push down. The nighttime picture is gusts of 60 or 70 for the northern half of Britain. Just a reminder. The afternoon temperatures are typical for March. We'll see them higher and lower in the next few days, but the wind actually will take rather more than the edge off for most. It has an advantage. Wind during the night stops the frost coming in, so we might see it briefly in the southeast of England. Otherwise, it's not a problem. Tomorrow morning, a cloudy start. The afternoon, I think, will tend to brighten up in one or two places in England and Wales, and maybe a bit, a bit pessimistic here. But tomorrow, throughout the day, it's likely that this band through central and southern Scotland, Northern Ireland, will see persistent rain and the winds only slowly easing towards the end of the afternoon. 14 is 57. Do you think it'll feel that warm? Somehow I doubt it. Anna. Rob, thank you very much.